All right, everybody, this week on the final reel, I'm going to respond to a little feedback, which I already had on my Facebook group, and it's to the Ashton Kutcher film, A Lot Like Love, which was made in 2005. I named it the worst film of the year, beating out Constantine and Doom by a narrow margin. Now, the problems I have with this movie are the problems that I've had with a lot of romantic movies this year, and since I reviewed two romantic movies this week, and none of which were terrible. One was great, one just missed the mark a little. I feel like this one is just the one of the worst of the worst, the bottom of the barrel. Never in a movie, and I mean, I'm even talking about Kate Hudson films here as well, and Matthew McConaughey films, have I seen, or even Sarah Jessica Parker if you want to throw her in there. I've never seen two more ridiculously stupid characters trying to pass themselves off as smart, realistic people. Again, <laughs> it, it just bothers me. I mean, I know there are some people out there that are just dim. Okay, fine. But nobody can possibly be as stupid as these two characters played by both Ashton Kutcher and Amanda Peet. And again, she said that this movie is great because, well, <laughs> he has a deaf brother. It really didn't lend anything to this film at all. Just was supposed to bring a couple aww moments to it. Yeah, okay. Uh, it had a song by some singer, I guess, that she liked, and, well, you know what, I love the song Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls, it was in the film City of Angels, I named that the worst film of 1998, that was terrible, I still love the song, though, that doesn't make it a good movie, uh, also, she points out the fact that they ended up together, and, okay, in other words, the sky is blue as well, uh, <laughs> yeah, and you know what, I'm actually kind of glad that both Ashton Kutcher and Amanda Peet ended up together at the end of this film, because, really, if they were to date anyone else, Anyone else, if these two characters were to date anyone else, their IQ, that other person's IQ, would drop 50 points just hanging out with them for five minutes. That's how stupid the characters are in this film, and it's really ridiculously shoddy, horrible dialogue. Just, it was just made it even worse. Oh, hated, 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 hated that movie, to quote Roger Ebert. So yeah, that's my response to that. <laughs> just something random to talk about this week. Anyway, that's it for this week's show. Um, if you want to support me, please visit my Facebook group. It's called Bill Chase and the Movies, just like it, exactly like it's spelled up there. Uh, feedback, talk movies with me, ask me questions. I will answer them gladly, both on the wall, and I will even do a little response on the show, do a mailbag segment sometime soon. It's been a while since I last done one. This is kind of a shorter version. So yeah, just send me your feedback, comment on the videos, send me messages, whatever. Uh, I will be back next week with reviews of five more new films, including Funny People, the highly anticipated new Judd Apatow film starring Adam Sandler and Seth Rogen, two generations of comic giants. Next also is Aliens in the Attic starring Ashley Tisdale, uh, Every Little Step, a documentary about the making of A Chorus Line, The Girl from Monaco, a new French film, and Surveillance starring Julia Ormond, Bill Pullman, and French Stewart. That's next week's show, and until then, I am Bill Chase, and I will be... At the movies. Goodbye, everybody.